UVs. UVs are the hardest thing for a new student to understand. Absolute hardest thing. And the reason for that is, is the relationship between the 3D object and 2D world space. Okay? So, how do I say 2D world space? Well, window UV texture editor maps out this. This is an average box. I just grabbed it from the polygon primitives. And you have a 3D object and it's 2D space. So, if you could think of taking a cardboard box and unraveling it and then drawing on it and then putting it back together, that's the equivalency of UVs. Okay. Okay, now a box. Really easy to do. You know, you can really easily tear that apart. But now let's throw something else into the equation. Let's go into polygons and mesh smooth this. Now we have a ball. And it's being um, represented by a cube still. Okay. Well, technically, could you take this ball, unravel it, and produce this shape? You would have to take and cut each and every one of these just to lay it out flat. There's no doubt about it. So, when you get into something like this, you have to represent the shape better corresponding to the UVs. And that's where projections come in. Okay, So in this case, I'll show you a projection of this. I could go into my top view, and I could create a planar map square box. And in that square box, I can use the camera. Once I set this up, you should probably just hit save settings. And then apply it. Well, now my UVs represent a circle or a cube or a cube circle, which I also call a squircle. But um, look how it's projected. Could I ever draw on the other side? Well, to answer that, I'm going to start bringing in a visual aid in the next video. So I'll meet you in the next video with my visual aid.